Yo, what's up, y'all? I'm breaking down a melody in the style um, of Q Beats um, or Frank Dukes, something vintage, and I think it would also fit on the uh, new Young Thug album. Uh, something like the song Solid uh, featuring Drake, and um, I'm just gonna play the melody for y'all. Okay, so that's the melody and I'm gonna break down the elements that I put into it. Um, so first off, I started off with Analog Lab, uh, which is a great plugin, plugin for that vintage uh, type of style and um, it has a lot of old synths in it and um, yeah, I uh, used a plugin or at least the first um, plugin that I stacked was called that. <laughs> it was an organ and sounds like that. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, and um, I added uh, a plugin called, or, or at least a synth called uh, Jupiter 8, and um, added the reset called Broken Dreams. And uh, yeah, it's all in Analog Lab 4. And um, this is what the melody that I played out uh, sounds like. Now if we're talking effects, I put a couple on here, um, first uh, for the paramedic EQ, I cut out some of the harsh frequencies that were in the mid-range, I cut out nearly all the low end, um, just cause it doesn't really need that in that case, and um, then I added magic switch, uh, which is a free chorus plugin from Baby Audio, um, yeah, just uh, gives it an awesome effect I, I think, and then I added cassette, which is a nice uh, detune plugin, which also gives it that vintage vibe um, that I was looking for in that type of sample. And uh, yeah, that was the, the first plugin that I added. Um, I added uh, another instance of, or, or another instance for this specific sample. Um, in that case, it's from a plugin called uh, Oliver Patrice Vader, who is um, OPV, um, which is basically just a plugin from Spitfire Audio. They do, um, pretty awesome plugins in my opinion, also a bunch of contract libraries, but um, this plugin is only 30 bucks and you get a bunch of presets uh, from pianos to pads to um, ARP sounds and that's the sound that I chose. Uh, I put ambience which is a reverb and also an image on here and it sounds like this. And I also realized that, for example, Palace uh, and Gunboy use that plugin a lot. And uh, yeah, I just like the sound of it. And uh, that's the melody that I played out. All right, so pretty simple melody. And um, then all I needed to do is add a bass. Um, I added the bass code, or at least first I added a guitar, and I think I just layered it with a bass. Um, that's uh, the guitar is called Ample Guitar M2 Lite, which is um, since it's a light version, a free plugin, and I think uh, well, getting it doesn't hurt. It's uh, it's not not the best guitar out there, but it's definitely um, just uh, better than uh, you would get from the from the stock VSTs, I guess. <laughs> and uh, yeah. The melody that I played out with that one um, sounds like this. Like I said, it's uh, it's a bass, and then it gets layered with the ample bass. Okay. I put a uh, Camel Crusher on there to give it um, that distortion sound that I wanted to achieve. Um, the preset is called British Clean. I turned off the filter, um, turned down the master a little bit just so it's a little bit more quiet. And um, then I layered it with, um, like I said, uh, a plugin called Ample Bass, also a free plugin. Um, I think I used that in my last videos as well. I like the sound of that one. 
and um, yeah, it just plays the same melody and sounds like this. Oh my fucking god, I always make the same mistake. Okay, here we are. Okay, so that's the next element that I layered and then there's only one element left which is um, a one shot. I'm not quite sure, um, yeah it's out of a kit from iBinArt which is also a great YouTuber in my opinion um, for breaking down samples and beats and all of that and uh, yeah it sounds like this. And it's just a flute effect, uh, I think it's also used in a couple of songs in an, or at least a different uh, type of style. And um, yeah, that's what I played out and uh, I chose a couple of different effects to give it a little bit more of an ambient feeling. Um, first the plugin uh, Ambience, which uh, like I already said gives it a reverb feel. Then Magic Switch again. Then I added another EQ, cut out uh, a bunch of the of the frequencies that I just didn't fuck with, and um, then I added a fruity filter, which gave it a lo-fi type of feel, and this is what it uh, sounds like. Okay, so. That's basically all I added to the sample and um, what I then always do is lay it out in that type of style. Um, first all the elements just so it catches the ear of the, of the listener and um, then I break it down into a couple of different parts and afterwards I put the stems and um, then I just render it out by holding Alt R on the master and pressing the red dot first. And uh, I um, first decided to put a grow speed on it but at the end just didn't do it so um, this is what the sample would sound like finally. Yeah, I um, actually made a little beat to it and um, I have a little bit of a, of a trick for, you know, switching up the melody or the loop and I'm just gonna show you that one as well. Like in a new instance of FL Studio and um, I actually just dragged the loop um, that I just made into uh, this version and what I then did is I, I just opened up the loop, I went, uh, I just right click it and then I press E which opens up Edison, E for Edison, makes sense. And uh, yeah, what you what you can do then, or at least that's uh, what I like to do. I just found that out, I'm not quite sure where. Um, and uh, yeah, you go ahead and go into the, in the stretch mode and then you can uh, pitch the melody up and down and time shift it if you do it like this. Um, I'm not gonna accept it now, but if you accept it, it's gonna uh, render it out and um, it will be in a different tempo and uh, in a different pitch and in my opinion that can add um, a lot more to the sample if you just wanna flip it up. And uh, yeah, I did that. I brought it down to 120 BPM as you can see and then I added a little beat to it and uh, this is what it sounds like. Uh, that's gonna be it for the video today. I hope y'all enjoyed it and uh, yeah, just tell me in the comments what type of video you want to see next and uh, I appreciate y'all for watching. Uh, go ahead, check me out on IG, Maxtro underscore one and uh, yeah, peace out.